Hey, how's it going? This is Henry here responding to your request for a quick video on some tips you can use to get more exposure. So I'm on your Facebook page for ZBest Home Care Inc. Going down your Facebook page, it's good you're using some posts. So you're posting for some aids, which is good for caregivers. Also, you have a little bit about yourself too, which is good. And the more you post with you with Facebook, that'll engage with your users. And look in the about section, it's good you got your address listed here. Um, so you mentioned specializing community personal care services. And you mentioned your staff is detail oriented. It's good you got some likes, you got your phone number on there, people can message you. See an email address on there, which is good too. I tried going to the zbestxc.com website, but for some reason it wasn't working. So and it's good you got your hours here, you mentioned you're in medical and health. So while your website if your website's being built whatever it is i'm going to show you how you can use it to your advantage so here's what happens when, when you search for somebody searches for home health care and they're in brooklyn new york here's what pops up so the top few results right here these are actually ads these are people paying to be on page one so they're renting that space it's always better to own than rent once we move past that we get into the map portion of google and the top three people get the most traffic so we got edison home health care and then all Heart home care agency and then just this home care. This looks like it could be a good opportunity for you to rank because home health care is missing a website. They don't have their map listing fully optimized. You you want like I said, you want to have a spot in the top three maps. And then once we move past that, we get to the organic section. So 30% of traffic goes to maps, and then uh the rest, like 70%, is in organic. So so we got caring as the number one uh listing then we got right at home.net Brooklyn page we're actually going to take a look into them in a little bit and then we go down and then we got more ads so next I'm going to show you some stats on Google search so page one gets 91 and a half percent of Google traffic as you see the traffic falls off significantly when you hit page two it goes all the way down to 4.8 percent so if any page is not found on page if you if a business is not on page one it's just could be much harder for somebody to find them on Google and 47% of the time people conduct a uh, Google search it is for local business service of some sort but not all traffic on page one is created equal your spots really crucial so the top three spots get the most traffic and there's a huge difference between getting the first spot and that last spot the first spot gets 30% more traffic than that last spot and so if you get a top three map listing to go along with a top three organic listing you're gonna have a lot of traffic coming your way the more website visitors you get once you're the two more phone calls and more inquiries, and then obviously, then more like patients and closed jobs. With that extra revenue, you can grow your business even further. Even by having a position on page one, you can add thousands of dollars in monthly revenue. So now let's take a look here at here. It, um, okay, here we go. So it's right at home. This is a page about Brooklyn. So that's another thing too. If you have a website, you can make location pages for each place you service. So maybe you go to all boroughs, so Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, Staten Island, or you just want to go into Brooklyn. You could do it by different neighborhoods. So Williamsburg, Gowanus, Flatbush, Midwood, Borough Park. There's a lot you can do there. So you see here, they have like a nice, simple website, customizable home care for seniors throughout Brooklyn. You see, they got a video as well. Anytime you have a website, you always have to think yourself what's the first action you want the user to take. So you always want to make sure they can contact you. So you see like up here, they have like a phone number at the top, in the top left. You always want to have a phone number at the top left. The user's eyes always start there. If they see that phone number first thing, they know to call you. One thing though, it's not clickable. You want to make sure you have a clickable phone number. That way then a the user can call you on a mobile device. And then when they when the user makes the way to the right, you always want a contact form like this. You see it just says contact us. You want to say something like get a free consultation, get a free quote, get a free estimate. That'll give them more incentive to fill this out and reach you via email. But it's good to have a nice looking website, but what Google looks for is authoritative content. So in your home page, you want to have at least a thousand words. And then on each service or location page, you want to have at least five hundred words. Definitely go what you but the more the merrier. If you had a, a 2,000 word home page along with 1,000 word service pages like that's that's going to be also really helpful. You want to have as much information as possible about home care. You want to be like the Wikipedia of home care in the Brooklyn area. So other ways too you can add more information. You can make blogs and your thoughts and opinions on everything home care. 
that would be another thing too, like have all this valuable information. It's like Google want to expose you because it's just like, oh, I have someone because it's like, oh, see, best home care has all this good, valuable information on home care. And while having lots of great authoritative content is very essential, just one piece of the puzzle, another thing you'll need is backlinks. A backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. Not all backlinks are pretty equal, some are more powerful than others. Ranking a website to the top of Google, similar to being a kid at a school who's trying to gain popularity, and Google's the judge of who the popular kids are. So let's say, so like, you, you can be the best, like, a kid who could be really good looking, have great personality, but yet he's not getting votes of confidence for all your all the peers so like that's why it's important like you can have a good great looking site with great content but it's not going to work unless you're getting linked up to the popular kids so let's say for example the new york times wrote an article about some home, um, home health care agencies or just home care and they mentioned you and how good you are and they had your website link in there and they gave you that follow google it's gonna be like oh the new york times.com most popular kid in new york likes the best home care we're gonna move them up the rankings and you'll find more and more of those popular sites to link up to but if you put your website link onto a new site called uh, Joe Schmo Home Care dot com, and they gave you a follow. Google would see them and be like, "Oh, we never seen Joe Schmo Home Care before, and he likes the best home care." We're gonna keep the ranking the way it is. His opinion doesn't mean much. So we're gonna go into a tool called Ahrefs. This gives you an overview of how a website does in the search engine. So here it is for Right at Home's Brooklyn page or web page. So you see them mention the headline: Home Care, Senior Care, Brooklyn, In Home Care, and Senior Assistance. You wanna have words like that. Some people search for that, especially that you know it's you're, it's in Brooklyn. So they appear for 287 keyword searches. They have 146 backlinks. So the thing with backlinks is you it's good to have more than not all about having more backlinks than the competitor. You want to make sure you got quality too. Definitely, you want to have a lot of quality backlinks. It's all good too if you have more than them too. But you just want to have a lot of quality. Quality is a little bit more important. And as you see here too, like they're actually generating revenue from the from the search engines because their traffic's valued at over at 1,700, so they possibly could be getting more revenue from it. So let's take a look at some of the keywords they rank for. Let's see, home care assistance could be a good keyword because it has a high search volume, like elder care services, caregivers, senior care, uh, Brooklyn. I was saying too, these could give you ideas for what to do with the service pages, like you can have like elder care, like home care, like uh, injured worker. Let's see, home health aid, you have senior care, like Alzheimer's, depending on which type of um, home care you provide. Oh yeah, hospice too. So hospice in Brooklyn. So that, that get, hospice gets 90, 50 searches a month, hospice Brooklyn. Let's see, Phoenix Rehab, let's see, hospice, quality home care, Brooklyn, New York gets 20 searches. There's a lot of keywords you can attack. And with back with backlinks though, you want to be linked up to as many sites that are relevant to what you do. So definitely a lot of medical backlinks will help. Like if there's a hospital that you're partnered with, that would be a good link to get from. Or like a, a hospital that like provides you a lot of recommendations or refers you. Even like New York related sites, Brooklyn related sites are good as well too. So they have a page on yellow pages, that would be a good place too. Definitely like the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce would be a great place as well too, depending on which neighborhood you're in. And let's see, or else site links. Let's see, adapting spaces could be another one. And to rank, one thing you'll need to rank in the map portion of Google are citations, which are the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. If you have one on your Facebook page too, we're gonna check it out. Yeah, this is a citation right here, which is good. You could put that on all your other social media accounts. You want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. Like the more citations, the better. But sometimes having way more citations in your competition won't always leapfrog you in the Google Map rankings. But we're gonna, um, we'll show you some tips about what will help. So we're gonna go into a heat, this tool called a heat map. I couldn't find your Google Map listing, so I used one for Edison Home Healthcare. So here's an example. So you see a lot of red, orange, yellow, and green dots. So the green dots are where you want to be. Those are that means that the Google Map listing is ranked one through three when somebody's searching for home health care in those areas. So like whenever yes, whenever somebody's searching for home health care, yeah, the map listing is gonna rank much differently depending on the area. So right by Borough Park and Flatbush, they rank much better than they do by Crown Heights, Bed Stuy and Park Slope. 
So some things to do if you want if this were, if you saw red spots on your map list and you wanted to turn those into greens, some things you would do definitely add more citations. So if you got the 300 citations, that will help. You say, oh, the citations aren't like it's. I mean, it's helping, but it's not there yet. So other tips you can do too. Make sure you add a lot of authoritative content to your website, all about home health care. Make those location pages for like Midwood, you know, Williamsburg, Park Slope, Crown Heights, Bedstein, Brownsville, depending on where in Brooklyn you want, like even Bergen Beach, like say Brighton Beach, Coney Island, Sheep Heads Bay. There's a lot of location pages you could do. And then make sure you're getting those backlinks too, like those medical and New York related backlinks that are strong and relevant. That, that will help. Even on your map listing, too, you want to make sure you have all the necessary information filled out that Google wants you to fill out. So your name, what like your services, your dress, what you do, pictures, your logo. And you want you can actually utilize your Google map listing similar to Facebook. You can post in there, too, as well. You can make all these different posts about like whether it's promotions, what you do, and so on. Make another thing too, you can add geotagged photos to your map listing too. That'll help. Like you'll see if you're doing work in Park Slope or Crown Heights or Brooklyn Heights, or even like Flatbush, you can take a picture of wherever you're at saying, oh, I did some work here with your smartphone. Your smartphone, or if you take a picture with your smartphone, it'll come with a geotag corner that you're in those areas. Then you upload that to the map listing and Google will see that, oh, Z Best Home Care works in these agencies. So we're going to have to try to get them more exposed in those areas and yeah you want to have at least 30 geotagged photos and definitely another thing that helps too is getting more reviews the more five-star reviews you have the better like if you're getting all these rave reviews google's going to want to show you off and that, especially if you're doing everything else that they're liking too they're going to be like oh this guy's like way ahead of everybody he has the five he has all these five-star reviews he has a lot of all these citations he, ha he posts a lot in the maps in the, he posts a lot with his map listing. He has all these geotag photos. He has a really strong website. It's got like, there's nobody else like him. So, and look, look at going back here, you see like Edison Home Healthcare, how many they got 121 reviews, and then like All Heart Home Care Agency, they have 119. So that will help in a lot of different areas. I know like right here they're not as strong, but that's just all across Brooklyn. So I hope this was helpful. I look and I look forward to hearing from you. And we'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you.